My husband and I were together for like nine years and married for two. I was in a same SX relationship before we met and started dating. We were very happy, except for in the SX department. He had always had a significantly lower libido than me. I would have SX more than once a day if he wanted to, but my husband was really more on the once a week end of the spectrum. He also only wanted to have SX with me in the middle of the night with the lights off. I felt solely unfulfilled 90% of the time and self-pleasure like three times a day. However, he was my best friend in the whole world, and we were alike in almost every single way except when it came to SX physical touch. If there were soulmates, he was probably my soulmate in all the ways but this one. Despite the soul differences, our brain's hearts were so alike I couldn't help but love him from the moment I met him. We both had depression and ADHD and had the same major in college and shared our core values. People often made hurtful comments saying that they just couldn't see us being together, etc. because I was too pretty for him. I knew those comments grated on him emotionally. He was a beautiful, stocky, broad-shouldered, bearded man. I found him incredibly physically attractive. I told him this frequently. Anyway, over the years, I tried to talk about my physical needs with him as lovingly and compassionately as I could from every angle I could think of. I wanted to respect his soul desires just like I wanted mine respected. I knew he did not have any obligation to sleep with me unless he wanted to do so enthusiastically. That being said, I couldn't usually initiate SX with him through physical touch or he had a disgust reaction and waved me away. This hurt my feelings although he had every right to do it. When I said I felt solely unfulfilled, he sometimes went into a spiral of self-loathing that he couldn't seem to please me or made it very clear he didn't want to talk about it. Sometimes, in our attempts to lovingly communicate about SX desire, I felt so thoroughly rejected by him that I didn't want to have SX with him anymore. What worked best was me matter-of-factly stating, I would like to have SX with you, and he would say, I will take that under advisement and maybe touch me in the middle of the night a day or two later. That brings me to my next point. I felt like I had a crush on a high number of our significant guys' shared guy friends. Like, the ones we'd been friends with for 5 to 10 years. I hadn't cheated on my husband, but I had intrusive thoughts about it all the time. I didn't want to divorce him. I just wanted to sleep with our friends with his consent as my internal horny is screaming when I am around them. I just developed strong feelings of attraction to several of our single male friends who paid attention to me, cared about us, even if they were less handsome than my husband. I found myself daydreaming about kissing their necks or sucking them off or something at parties. It was frankly embarrassing. I knew it was unhealthy, but I knew it was something I had to try. Sometimes, I felt like I'd wasted all my beautiful, overflowing female soul energy on a man who couldn't appreciate it. Sometimes, I just wanted to share my body with my closest friends and stay friends afterward. I grazed this subject a little with my husband, but he avoided serious discussion and saying, I'll just have sex with you more, but, alas, he did not. And it seemed like the more I gently mentioned the subject, the less likely he was to have sex with me. If I were just suffering in isolation and not actively developing feelings for my husband's and my close friends, it wouldn't have been such a problem. I really didn't want to cheat on my husband, but it felt like my body really, really effing did. I felt like the deep love I had for those men as friends was spilling out into unwanted soul desire, and I didn't know what to do. I wasn't going to cut them out of my life as they were too closely intertwined with us. And I didn't want to, I loved them. Then Sunday evening we had some friends over and one of our mutual friends was sitting next to me, I don't remember whose foot first touched but we found our foot massaging each other's thighs underneath the table. I was so turned on that I wished there wasn't anyone else in the room. Despite my attraction for our mutual friend, I didn't want to cheat on my husband. He continued to send me flirtatious text messages and I would respond kindly. I had this pent-up desire to have him inside me, but I was frustrated as I couldn't cheat on my husband. I spent all night thinking about an alternate universe where couples are allowed to sleep with another person with consent of their spouse, like an open relationship sort of arrangement. One evening in bed, I finally mustered the courage to have a serious conversation with my husband about the state of our intimacy and my desires. 
It was a difficult discussion, but I felt it was necessary for the sake of our relationship. I approached the topic of an open relationship, explaining that it wasn't about seeking emotional connections elsewhere but rather fulfilling my physical needs with his knowledge and consent. At first, my husband was taken aback and defensive. He struggled to understand why I couldn't be satisfied with him alone. The thought of sharing me with others was challenging for him to accept, and he questioned whether it meant I loved him any less. It was evident that he felt hurt and insecure, fearing that he wasn't enough for me. Over the following weeks, we engaged in numerous heartfelt conversations about the concept of open relationships, exploring the potential benefits and challenges. He refuses as he claims that an open relationship will be one-sided as I would have more success than him. I told him that in that case I would invite women for him to be with. It was a tough and emotional process for both of us filled with setting boundaries and the problems that may arise if we embark on this journey. While my husband was still hesitant, I had an idea of how I could convince him. I knew one of his fantasies was having two women at the same time. So, I went online to look for women that are interested in sleeping with a couple. It took several attempts to find the right woman. On our first night together, my husband wasn't aware of what I was planning as I wanted it to be a surprise. He came home one night and after he took a shower, he walked into the bedroom with me and the woman laying in bed waiting for him. He was nervous at first and we made him comfortable. It was the most fun we have had in a while, and he enjoyed it too. After the lady left, he acknowledged the importance of my happiness and understood that suppressing my desires entirely would lead to resentment and potential relationship strain. Slowly but steadily, my husband began to accept the idea of an open relationship. It was not an overnight transformation, but rather sharing my husband with multiple women on several occasions. Eventually, my husband reached a point where he felt secure enough to accept that I should sleep with another man. That was after we had already had threesome with three different women. He told me that when I eventually sleep with other men, he didn't want to know who or anything about them. We set some boundaries like requiring the use of protection, and any one of us had the option to end it. No building emotional connection just physical, and my husband insisted that we don't get anybody we know involved. I didn't feel comfortable about the latter, but I thought he would come around, so I never mentioned it. It didn't take long for me to start sleeping with the mutual friend that I had always had a crush on, as we had been sending each other flirtatious text messages since we played footsies underneath the table. He was single so I would visit him at his place after work before going back home to my husband. I didn't tell the mutual friend that I was in an open relationship, as my husband wanted our relationship arrangement hidden. So, the mutual friend that I was having sex with thought I was cheating on my husband, and my husband didn't know that I was sleeping with our mutual friend. I thought it was better that he doesn't know or find out about it, otherwise he would flip out and get insecure about it. I used protection so there wouldn't be any chance of unwanted pregnancy. After a month of our open relationship my husband was true to his word, he never asked me about who I was sleeping with. There was another mutual friend that I wanted to have sex with as well, so I sent him a flirtatious text one time and then we eventually started sexting. He had just started dating a girl, so we moved it over to a more discreet messaging app named Snapchat. We eventually met up and had sex multiple times. Few months into our open marriage I was having sex with three different men and was more solely fulfilled than any time in my marriage. Two were our mutual friends and another that I met online. Then after a party we attended where both mutual friends that I was having sex with were present, my husband out of the blue asked me if I was having sex with the one that was single. I felt like there wasn't any point to lying about it, so I admitted it and I said yes. He was offended by this and wanted to end the open relationship. After he calmed down, we were able to talk about it in a rational manner and I promised to break it up with the mutual friend. Apparently, my husband saw how we were looking at each other and could tell that there was something going on. He made me send a text message in his present to break up with him, I not only broke it up with the friend he knows, but I also broke it up the other mutual friend that he didn't know about as well as I saw how it hurt my husband. However, my husband was only having sex with one woman that I introduced him to, and I began to worry because he was starting to get attached. 
I wouldn't be concerned except that he started spending too much time with her. Texting her and they would go on a walk at a park, or she would invite him to a family event. I confronted him about it telling him that he is building emotional connection with her, and the idea of our open relationship was merely physical. I remember the moment vividly, the night my husband dropped the bombshell that shattered our world. We were lying in bed, the dim light casting shadows on our faces as he spoke the words that would haunt me forever. He had gotten that woman pregnant during our open relationship, and she wanted to keep the baby. Shock coursed through my veins, leaving me paralyzed as I tried to comprehend what he was saying. How did this happen? Our agreement had always been about physical connections, devoid of emotional entanglements. We were supposed to use protection, to ensure that our encounters remained purely physical and didn't jeopardize our bond. But now, reality shattered my illusion of control. The rules we set had been breached, and I felt an overwhelming sense of betrayal. This wasn't part of the plan. Panic and anger welled up inside me, blending into a confusing mix of emotions. How could he jeopardize our relationship in such a profound way? With a heavy heart and a voice trembling with hurt, I issued an ultimatum. I demanded that he ask her to terminate the pregnancy, to salvage what was left of our crumbling connection. It was a desperate plea, fueled by a fear of losing the love and life we had built together. I hoped that he would see the gravity of the situation, that our bond meant more to him than this unexpected turn of events. But to my horror, my husband made his choice. He chose her over me, over us. In that moment, it felt like my world crumbled around me. The man I loved, the person I trusted above all else, had made a decision that shattered my heart into a million irreparable pieces. He had chosen a life with her, leaving me feeling discarded and abandoned. To add salt to the wound, he seemed unaffected by the pain I was going through. It was as if our shared memories, the love we once had, had become a distant memory for him. I questioned whether he ever truly loved me or if it was all just an illusion. In the midst of the devastation, I knew that I couldn't stay in a relationship where my heart was no longer valued. The pain of seeing him move in with her, witnessing their budding relationship flourish while mine crumbled to dust, was unbearable. I had to gather the strength to walk away, to find my own path forward. The process of ending our marriage was long and agonizing. It tested every ounce of resilience within me. As time passed, I continued to explore my suality, engaging with multiple partners as I had done during our open relationship. But now, it felt empty, devoid of the love and connection we had once shared. The physical encounters couldn't fill the void left by a broken heart. In the depths of my being, I yearned for the love we had lost. I missed the laughter, the shared dreams, and the feeling of safety within his embrace. But as painful as it was, I knew that our love had been tainted, irreparably damaged by the choices we made. Do I regret suggesting an open relationship to my husband? I don't know, maybe the right thing to do was to divorce him because he couldn't fulfill my soul desire or the need to explore my suality, but ultimately, we ended up at the same place.